Now, last weekend's FA Cup third round ties were delayed by one minute, encouraging fans to take a minute to think about their mental health as part of the Heads Up campaign. And today, footballer Marvin Morgan will raise awareness for mental health, racism and life after football, with all money raised going into charity. Uh, for more on this, we can join our reporter Mark McCallum, who's at Rainers Lane. Hi, Mark. Yeah, good afternoon, Pete. Like you say, welcome to North West London for a really important game for three really important reasons. You mentioned him there. This is the brainchild of the former footballer Marvin Morgan, who do uh, joins me now on Sky Sports News. Um, Marvin, just tell us, first of all, why did you come up with this idea for the game and your football club to raise awareness on these issues? Well, I think it's important that we give back. Um, Fresh Ego Kid is uh, obviously the brand, and we've started Fresh Ego FC YouTube team, but we've got three boxes. Um, mental health and that we are the charity that we're going to give back to is heads up the second box is racism in football as we know it's so wearing its ugly head again and we want to kind of raise awareness and try and do as much as we can and the third box is basically we want to life after football telling the kids what they want to do and how they want to do to kind of move on from football and what they how to move forward as someone yourself who played in the EFL, played for numerous clubs, you had promotions and relegations and you had a great career. Why is these subjects so important to you now? Um, I, think, I think when you're a professional footballer, I think sometimes you don't realise the influence that you can have. And I just want to take the influence of when I was playing football to now what I'm doing as a founder of a clothing brand, Fresh Ego Kid, and try and help and raise as much as awareness as possible. And you've touched upon it there, one of your three boxes is racism in football. You've seen, sadly, how recently it's become such a huge issue and there are so many more incidents happening both in the Premier League and international football and the EFL, as well as non-league. Why? What can be done to change it? It's very, very difficult. As much as we can do as, as people and as a community is try and be better. And that's what I really want to try and put across as build the right community to try and stop this because I was affected as a player and um, racially abused and it's not nice and it's very very difficult to kind of put this across because I think it's a community thing and we have to try and better our community. And when you look at what's happening today just tell us about some of the players that are going to be taking to that pitch behind you. So we've got a lot of players like uh, from um, Marvin Sordell, he's, he's my star striker. Um, Dean Morgan, these ex, um, ex players, um, Anton Robinson, myself, Miles from Raksu, uh, Ashley from Raksu, and a whole lot of friends. And we're playing against United Stands. I'm a United fan, so I want to beat them. <laughs> and in terms of today, it's actually all about raising money for charity and raising awareness and, and really trying to make steps forward to improve the game that you love so much. Exactly, and that's what it's all about. Again, it's about raising the right awareness for what we're trying to do. Us as a brand, Fresh Ego Kid, we stand for some great values, and, and that's what we're trying to do. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to see you back on that pitch. It's been some time since I saw you playing football. It's going to be an incredible day here in North West London. So if you're in and around the area and you want to see this man take to the pitch again for the first time in a couple of years, as well as some of his friends to raise money for a really important cause, then make sure you get down to Rainers Lane. Two o'clock is a kickoff. Great stuff, Mark. Many thanks to you both.